I've been meaning to react to this song by the Flamingos from 1959 for a couple of years now and kept forgetting until Paul Hoffmeister, one of my subscribers, reminded me of it yesterday. So here we are. This is a gorgeous love song, the myopia of love. You can't see the moon. You can't see the stars. You can't see nothing. You can't see nobody. It's a great, nice, short, written song. It's been covered by a bunch of great artists, including a couple of Velvet Voices, Frank Sinatra. Are the stars out tonight? And Art Garfunkel. My love must be a kind of blind love. Both of those lovely, especially Art Garfunkels, which went to number one in the UK for two weeks. I think it's my second favorite um, by Art. And it's so lovely, so tender, but this song to me deserves a little bit of exuberance. And that's what the flamingos bring to this, bring to this along with that velvet voice, this lovely, expressive, emotional velvet voice by Nate Nelson. <clears throat> this song was actually written way back in 1934 for the movie Dames. It was written by Harry Warren and Al Dubin. And, uh, then I think Sinatra did it, and then several other people, uh, Etta James did it. But um, these guys, in my perspective, did it best. They put, they, they seem to connect to the lyrics better than anybody else. Uh, it's still my favorite. I was eight years old, 1968, when I first heard this. Fell in love with it then. Mesmerized by the voice, the sound, everything else. So let's jump into "I Only Have Eyes for You" by the Flamingos. Love how it starts out. My love must be a kind of blind love. A kind. I can't see anyone but you. I love that dun dun dun. Do wop. I don't know if it's cloudy or bright. I only have eyes for you. Do you the moon may be Terrific harmonies. Bass guitar, very strong. Brush drum. Love how this song takes its time. You are here. And so am I. Maybe millions of people go by. But they all disappear. Of his throatiness in his voice.
I just love the pacing on this song, how it just lets it sit with you. I love how the chabump chabump comes in and sort of punctuates it, you know, the energy of love. That's the way I feel uh, about that, what that does to the song. Gives it, gives it a little bit of spice because his voice is so tender, so emotional. You truly feel like he's feeling the, the lyrics, the, the words, the meaning of the song. Uh, this is, some, this is like a, the word I used a while ago was mesmerizing as a kid. It's still a mesmerizing song for me. It's just one of those that I just, I'm like on a train going through the mountains, just looking at the scenery, just taking it, taking it all in emotionally. So wonderful. I really truly feel like they got the emotion of this song better than anybody else. It was their biggest hit, rightfully so. It's considered one of the greatest of all time, even by Rolling Stone magazine, rightly so. Uh, but I, I just, the great, there's some really good, like, guitar work on this, and then the bass and the brush drums, piano on this. Um, it's just really a nicely arranged song. And of course, just Nate Nelson's voice. And I'm not sure who's coming in with that high sort of that alto or whatever that is that's coming in in the background. I wish I knew who was doing that, but that's really wonderful as well. Um, this is a song of love, man. I mean, that's, there's just nothing else. No moon, no stars, nothing. It's just love, baby. Just love these guys. Great song. Let me know what y'all think. I'll catch you soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye now.